Alrighty, welcome back. Let's go with the acid flow. So the DNS extract data would only process data as long as there is at least one reasonable answer. And if there is one, then it would proceed to process it. And let's see how it does that. Keep in mind that the, the maximum domain name size allocated for the buffer, which, which we'll be working with, is 255 as per the spec. So let's see how DNS unpack domain name attempts to write to this buffer. The parameter buff begin points to the start of the buffer. Source would point to the data within the packet that was received. So I guess I'll try to explain on a high level what the code is doing here. This while loop is a nested while loop. First, it basically has an attacker controlled exit loop, which should already give us some cause for concern. Uh, but if we look at the details here, we can see that it tries to take care of the two cases, right? The case where it's dealing with a compression pointer and the case where it's not. So it starts out by assuming that it has, it's currently looking at the size label, right? Uh, a label length. And then it proceeds to verify whether or not it's a label length or a compression pointer. So if it's a compression pointer, then this inner while loop would run. Otherwise, the external while loop would, would execute for a non compression compression case. Something interesting seems to be happening here, though. We are actually accessing this buffer with attacker controlled indices, which again could be suspicious. And for those of you that are heavy in your math, you know, this might be straightforward to you, but to me, this is something I will definitely need to pop up in a debugger to understand. It's basically a, I guess, complex way to refer to the lower 14 bits of a compressed pointer. Uh, an example is included if you do want to test out yourself to see that this math is correct. But you know, if you were lazy like me, you would just pop it in a debug and see what's actually going on. Okay, so as you mean that this is so this case we just reviewed, this is the case that you're dealing with a compression pointer. And when you exit this loop, then you will be dealing with a regular like label length. This condition in here, or this not condition, uh, this arithmetic operation actually does verify that the size is at most 63, right? Because we, we remember that the label length must be 63, uh, must be at most 63, and the host name would be at most 255. Okay, so. But then now we are writing that Yes, sure, we have guaranteed that this label length is will be maximum of 63, but then now we're writing to that destination buffer. And something is interesting here, though, although the length is bounded to be 63, we are actually within a much larger for a much larger while loop, right? That is still controlled by attacker data. So, yes. We are writing to dest, which is 255 bytes, and this is protected to only write 63 at once. But could there be something interesting going on here? Can we copy 63 bytes multiple times until it overflows the 255 bytes buffer? Yes. So let's see how we can pull that off. Now, first, we start with understanding the normal case. Right In the normal case, the while loop would read the size. In this case, it would be 3e. And then it would proceed to write that size data, skip past it and write into the destination. Okay, so size is red, size is 3e, the calculation goes, dest, plus, plus, sauce, all of that stuff. It's all nice and well. And then we finally write the period. And then we are done. 
Okay, so this is the, this is a, a a normal case. Nothing nothing malicious taking place here. But let's now take a look at a more malicious case. So this this packet has been constructed such that we would leverage compression pointers, right? Because compression pointers are able to jump back and forth to different locations or offsets in the packet and write data from that offsets, from those offsets. So we can really use the compression pointer logic to go over and over and over again and write multiple large label strings up until we exceed 255 characters, 255 characters in the buffer. So that's that's what we're going to attempt to do here. So first size is read as 3D. We read that. Okay, and then now we leverage the compression pointer, and when we go back to a prior header that was uh, uh, to a prior label that was written. Okay, so now size is 3D, and we basically just continue to repeat this until we write enough data that goes beyond 255 bytes. And that's by shown by our illustration, basically leveraging the, the compression pointer to keep going back, going back, so that we can, we can write this multiple big max size label strings until we exceed the buffer, right? Because the, there is no validation. There was validation on 63, but there was no validation on the maximum number of characters that have been written to the destination buffer. Unfortunately, once again, this was proprietary code and there was no patch analysis by the researcher. So we don't know, we don't actually know what the fix was.